Viewer discretion is advised. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to The Long Dark. So I did get a time to play this away off camera, and I did move all my stuff over. So we are all moved in to the Lonely Lighthouse now, completely detached from the gas station. The only thing I had to leave behind was just a wolf hide that was still curing. Uh, it was like 93%. I figured I'd leave it behind. Maybe I'll go back and get it. But then again, I don't really, if I absolutely need it, then I'll get it, but I just have no need for it, so I just left it. So, I still have a bunch of other ones. I think I have, like, five other wolf hides that are just already cured, and I think I have two that are curing right now, just running into wolves along the way. That's pretty much the only interesting thing that happened, but we now finally get a chance to explore this area, and I really haven't explored this area besides just the one little trip from the lighthouse to the mine, and I've been passing this church you can see it right there there's a church right there i've passed this thing a ton of times here's a wolf that attacked me that i had to kill and i decided we should go check it out and check out this area and kind of see what's going on because uh we have not been able to do any searching around here and then eventually i want to well probably after we check the church we'll head down to the road which is right here and head over that direction to see what is around the corner because like i said i have not done any sort of searching in this area but we'll see what we can come across. One of the things we still need is a workbench. We need to get one, we need to find a location to a workbench so we can have access to one. I don't even think I've searched this trunk. Oh, I have. There's just a bunch of clothes in it. But I've searched this car. So let's head up into this church. See what we can find. But yeah, so um, I'm sorry this video is late. Also, I know it's probably gonna be pretty late by the time this goes out. Maybe even like towards the end of the day, um, or very early morning, but, uh, super busy weekend this weekend, was doing a lot, I had some appointments I had to get to, you know, hanging out with some friends, just getting some time off, relaxing, pretty much is what I was doing, and then the only thing, I had all the videos uploaded except for the long dark, and I thought, okay, I'll do the long dark this weekend, just got wrapped up with what I was doing, came home Sunday, was exhausted, crashed after having to wake up early to get to some appointments and stuff so i just pretty much crashed as soon as i got home and woke up and i figured i'd crash oh wow there's a lot of supplies in this church i figured i'd wake up early enough because i went to bed so early that i would be able to wake up record and get this out but um no it uh, didn't work out that way i uh <laughs> ended up sleeping past noon so i really needed my sleep and i was like oh wow i did not realize i was that tired and uh missed the time some other people were around to record so i recorded with them and then now we just finished recording so i'm getting back into you know doing some single player stuff so ooh, yes box of ammo exactly what we need awesome Firewood, accelerant, bedrolls. Man, this place is like a freaking gold mine. I've walked past this place so many times and I've been like, hmm, probably a good amount of stuff in there. Also a corpse, which is a little weird, but... But yeah, so I just, I was super busy. We did some recording last night and as soon as that was done, I just crashed and... You know, trying to get stuff prepared for this week for videos to go out and just kind of got wrapped up in things and, you know... So, it was my bad, but I still want to bring you guys a video, even though it's going to be really late. But, at least you get a long dark this week, and it's not going to be... It's going to be on Monday, technically, hopefully. <laughs> even if it is, like, 11 p.m., it'll still be a Monday. So, yeah, I do apologize for that. I, I really didn't plan for that to happen, but it did. So, um, yeah, so we are going to... What kind of branch is that right there? I'm still looking for a maple tree branch is that what i'm looking for i believe it's a maple tree branch what is this um i think this is what i need i think that's what i need i'm mm, i'm pretty sure we just got it because we are still trying to make a bow 
bow and arrow. Uh, which is another reason why we need to find a workbench. Because I need to double check if that, I believe it was a maple sapling. And all I need to do is let it cure. And then we can make uh, some bows. Or a bow. And I already have some sticks for arrows. I have some feathers. And I think all we need is arrow tips, which is scrap metal. So, and I have a lot of that. So, bow and arrow would be nice. Hunt some of these rabbits if we need to. Um, go on the hunt for some things, which would be pretty cool. So, yeah, I don't know. We'll see if that's it. Um, nope. Okay. Just wanted to make sure that that branch wasn't just something like that, you know, something that we really didn't need. But, um, I think it is. I think it's what we've been looking for. So, yeah, I've been a little, um, cautious lately. That's what all the noise is. This you, whoa, look at this waterfall. Jesus, man. That looks amazing. I would love to get on top of that. That'd be so cool. But, yeah, I've been a little overly conscious of, or cautious of my, uh, whoa, really slowing down here, of my, uh, health lately, just because, um, you know, I was around my friend who had got a cold from his son who gave it to his daughter and then his grandpa and I was just around a family that was getting over sickness. Whoa! What the heck is this? Wow. That is a huge, like, factory or something. Holy crap. Wow. Okay, let's check this out. <laughs> Wow, I can't believe right around the corner. I didn't bother. I didn't want to explore the area until we were all set up. I do like the lighthouse, though. The lighthouse is very nice and cozy. This doesn't look so cozy. It looks very open. So, the lighthouse is doing us fine. Hopefully, there's a workbench in here. Because um, if there is, then we can focus on, you know, what we're going to need to get for a bow and arrow. Uh, yeah. Pretty awesome. Yeah, we were running a little bit low on supplies because I needed to eat a lot of food while I was making the trips back and forth. And Oh, man, this is a little creepy. So, but yeah, no, so I was around a lot of people that were getting over being sick. And, um, I don't know, today I had a really, like, you know, I, I, I get headaches pretty, you know, often not you know i think more than the average person so um i had a headache today and it was just it was a headache that was just really it was like a pressure headache my like my head felt very pressurized so we'll see i'm gonna stay on top of it uh, i'm feeling good other than that can't do anything with the radio search the glove box anything on the back go ahead and get out look through the window nope okay so, yeah, I'm just making sure that I'm not going to get sick. Um, because I hate YouTubing while sick. It's, uh, <laughs> sucks. Because you got to do a job. You got to do what you got to do. And. Oh, fuck. Oh, God. Okay. We need to be very careful around here. This also seems like an area that wolves or wolves would, uh, conjugate. So, also, just to let you guys know, yes, I do know that you can throw flares to distract wolves. That's probably the most common statement that I'm told every single time I play this game. In comments and tweets and all that. Yeah, you know, you can do, you can throw flares to distract wolves. Yes, I know. But in the moment when you have your gun out and a wolf is running at you, you're just going to shoot it. You're not going to so much try to switch to a flare and throw it in time, so... What the heck? The heck happened in here? Here's leather, nice. Look. Man, this place is trashed. We are getting a lot of supplies, which is good, because that's what we needed. Uh, I don't want to be out too long. I don't want to have to, you know, focus on uh, slowly walking my way back, because we're already encumbered. So, yeah, I don't know. 
I think that's it. This place is just really trashed. Interesting. Lots of scrap metal and wood and stuff, so... It's really nice that you can break things down now. Like, I think that's awesome. That we can now... Break things down to... Use to get scrap metal and stuff like that. This place is crazy. So this must be like a... Fishing... Oh yeah, definitely a fishing depot. I mean, look at this. This is a whale... Skeleton, I'm assuming. Man, this is crazy. Reclaimed wood, we don't need that. Wow. What is that? Is that a bird? What is that? Ow. Oh, it's a fish. Nice. Free food. Yeah, so, um... Yeah, this place seems like a... It's like a fishing depot. Like, all the fishing boats would come in and drop off and stuff. And they'd probably get processed and everything. This is crazy. Lots of whale skeletons around here. Man. This is nuts. This is so cool. What is that? That's a propeller. Wow. Or a prop or... Whatevers. Yeah, processing. Holy shit, dude. This is creepy. Can't do anything with the brick. We don't need reclaimed wood. I'd really like to get my lantern out. But I'm also just concerned. Because last time I was in a place like this that I explored for the first time, there was a wolf in it. If I see a wolf in here, I'm going to shit my pants. <laughs> so... Not much in terms of, you know, things on the ground. Holy, was this in like an engine room or something? Wow, stairs are broken. It's crazy. Oh, hold on. Maybe I can, oh yeah. No, I can't. I thought I could walk up that, but. You can't jump, so let's go in the engine room. See if that's where we need to be. Final oh, here's a workbench. Good. So we're not too far from a workbench. Um I'm just gonna double check really quick what for the uh for the survival cured maple sapling. What do we have? I can't remember. We have a Green maple's happening, yeah. So, we got it. Sweet. So, all we're just going to need to cure that, which will be not a problem. And uh, we should have a nice... Uh, ooh, a pry bar. Sure, why not? And uh, we should have a nice uh, bow that we can make. We have a lot of cured guts, so I'm not, I'm not concerned about that. Man, look at this. Wow. Beds and... Is that a rifle? Nice. That's my third... This is my third hunting rifle that I have. I'm gonna need to start doing something with those. Maybe I should break them down. Lantern fuel, we definitely need that. Because I didn't bring any. And this place is awesome and also creepy. What can I do with a plank? Do I just break it down? Wow. Not so much in terms of, like food and stuff. Like, we're finding, like, little things here. Oh, here we go. Here are a bunch of lockers. This is what we need. This is what we came for. I'm glad that we're back doing some exploring and stuff. That's kind of what this game is all about. Revival and, you know, exploring, and I'm glad that we're able to get back into doing that. It was... Use this. Um, no, we're not gonna take that. That's just too much. It was getting to the point where all we were doing was, um... Just, you know, walking back and forth through those places, just trying to get all the material over, and I was just like, I, I just want to look around. Get back to what this game is supposed to be. So, I'm glad that we're back. Oh, man. Look at this. Books. Those really help with the fires. I can just walk over that. That's good. We'll walk out there in a second. Just want to check the, check the desk and the cabinets and everything I can.
So, uh, yeah, it's very sparse in here. Not much. But it's good that we're finding anything, because we were getting pretty low on canned foods and stuff like that. So, I'm glad that we're able to, uh, kind of restock some of our supplies. We need to re we need to fix some of our uh, clothing, too. Like, our deer skin boots are getting a little, a little worn. So, we need to repair those. But we don't need a workbench for that, luckily. Wonder what's out that door. But let's check. Let's wait. Hold off on that door. I could imagine this walkway is going to take us anywhere crazy. Yeah, it's not. It's just going to like pretty much just a way to get out or something. Oh, there's a corpse over here. Interesting place to go. What is he? What is that? Oh, a torch. Nice. Accelerant, granola bar, candy bar. We're getting a little bit of stuff. It was not bad. The church was a freaking little gold mine. Wow. This is awesome. This place is like creepy and awesome at the same time. Very strange. Reclaimed wood just sitting there randomly. Not going to pick it up. We have enough wood at the, uh, at the base lighthouse so all right let's go out this door over here see what uh see what's out here or through here i'm assuming this goes outside and it does okay we need to be careful again remember that we are not we are not alone out here. There are some wild animals, and we need to make sure that we don't get attacked by a bear. Yeah, this has actually turned out pretty well. We might need to come back and search this area a little bit more thoroughly, but I can do that in the meantime. Man, we got some trailers. Yeah, we're just going to have to come back for that. I'm getting a little weighted down here. I just want to kind of give this area a quick once over. Some buoys and line and all that. I mean, it's pretty crazy. Wow. Not a bad place. Pretty cool. Definitely not a place to set up a base camp, that's for sure. Not at all. But it's pretty cool that this is not that far away from where we currently are. So, and there's definitely, I can definitely tell there's still more supplies there to be, uh, to be picked up, so. But we're pretty weighted down currently with everything that we're holding. So we're gonna kind of lumber, lumber back to the... Fuck. Um. That is not a good sign at all. There's a bridge over there. Interesting. I'm very concerned about what I just witnessed. Like, extremely concerned that I just had a wolf run right past me and not care at all that I was there. But yeah, we're definitely going to have to check this area out again, get all the materials, and then keep going. And there's a bridge, so we definitely got to see where this road takes us. But fog is coming in. We're pretty weighted down. There's a boat out there. We might want to check that out. Not bad. Like I said, it feels really nice. There's that wolf. Doesn't care anymore. But yeah, good thing we kept an eye out for things. But yeah, that's not a bad little area. It wasn't bad getting, uh, you know... Got some materials. Like I said, it's nice being back to uh, exploring again and seeing new things. Because when you make that same 40-minute round trip four times, you're just like, I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> so, feels good. Feels good to be back. But all I'm going to do now is just walk back to the lighthouse, drop off all the supplies we got, um... You know, make sure we set up that, uh, make sure we set up that, um, that branch to start curing. And, uh, then we'll hopefully, 
I don't know how long it's going to take. Probably going to take a good amount of time, but if it's not too long, then hopefully maybe next episode we might make a bow. But we might have to wait until two episodes or so. So we'll see. Definitely get a bow at some point. Keep exploring. Yeah. It's pretty awesome. Well, I'm, I'm liking this area a lot. Really nice. So I'm going to get back to the lighthouse, which is just right there. Just, you know, a little walkway to get to it and set all our stuff up and get ready to uh, call it. But um, hope you guys enjoyed. Just going to go ahead and end it here since pretty much nothing ever happens. Most exciting thing that ever happens coming back to the lighthouse just you see a wolf. You just shoot it in the face, so which is not bad because you get a lot of meat. But yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and end this here. Um, hope you guys enjoyed. Next time, we are going to possibly go back to that fish place and the processing plant and uh, finish picking up whatever materials we left behind and uh, looking into what we need to make the bow. Um, and we might even head out along the road even further and see if we can cross that bridge that we saw and kind of just see what, what's out there. So... Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Remember to hit the like button. It really does help me out. So I will see you guys next time. Bye.